Hello and welcome everybody to Early Aggression White Raw Day. Today we're looking at games where White Raw is going to be putting some very early aggression on his opponents. He has some very, very interesting builds worked out, and we've already seen some PvZ and some PvT from White Raw, and now we're going to be finishing it up with a little bit of PvP from White Raw. Now this is one that I feel like a lot of people are going to be very, very interested in, just because PvP is, is kind of an interesting matchup. It can kind of be like super mirror matchup y and what I mean by that is that a lot of times players will go for identical builds a lot of players will do the exact same build and so it'll come down to very very small things like micro and so a lot of Protoss players really really hate playing PvP but we're gonna see a very very interesting build out of White Raw here so his opponent today spawning on Antigua shipyards in the top right position as the blue Protoss we have Hose White Raw is, of course, going to be our hero Red Protoss spawning in the top left position here of Antigua Shipyards. Going to be going for a very, very interesting build. They are having a little bit of friendly banter here. This is, of course, a ladder match. I should mention that, that all the games that I'm posting here today are all ladder matches. These were not done in competition. So this is, is kind of what allowed White Raw to do some of these strange and interesting builds. It's just because they are just ladder matches. Um, in competition, though, White Raw is known for still bringing out some very, very interesting and very, very weird builds um, in competition as well. Um, he's just known for doing screwy builds kind of all over the place. But, of course, since this is ladder, he's going to be experimenting just a little bit more. And so far, both players are looking pretty identical right now. The gateway has gone down, followed up by that assimilator. So it's so far looking like a very standard opening. And now Hose is actually going to be scouting his opponent. And I'll actually tell you right now that Hose is actually going to be scouting out the entirety of this build. He's going to know exactly what White Raw is doing. And even having scouted what his opponent is doing, he's going to have a little bit of difficulty dealing with White Raw's early aggression. So. In the base of Hose, Hose has been going for a pretty much identical build from White Raw so far. Gateway, followed by that Gas Geyser, followed by that Cybernetic score, and we can see that's exactly what White Raw is doing as well. Both players continuing to scout their opponent. White Raw actually stealing a little bit of minerals from his opponent. This is something you can do to be a little annoying. It doesn't really affect that much of the game, but if you steal five minerals from your opponent, well, that's five minerals that you have that your opponent will never, ever, ever have, assuming that probe gets away, which I think it will. And in the base of White Raw, we now see a second gateway going down here. Notice that Hose still has this probe here, so he knows that this second gateway has gone down here for White Raw. Notice no second gas geyser has been taken yet, and there is a second geyser here for Hose. So Hose is going to be going for a little bit more tech-based play. Going to be putting a chrono boost on that uh, warp gate research. It is standard to be throwing down one uh, chrono boost on your warp gate research. Every now and then you'll see two or three be used, two most commonly. Um, if not one, two is fairly common, three is pretty rare unless you're going for a four gate play. Now notice White Raw is saving up some energy on his Nexus, and he's now going to be chrono boosting out double stalker. He got one stalker out, and then with his second set of double stalkers, he's going to be chrono boosting out both of those stalkers. This is because he wants to get across the map, and holy cow, that's some crazy lag right now. I do I need to restart? No, you know what? No, this is this is going. It's speeding back up again. I don't know why there's so much of that lag going on. We still have some. It's okay. It's okay, computer. It's okay. There you go. And now we are gonna have uh, a net. Now a stalker as well as a zealot gonna be coming out of that gateway as well. And now we have a third gateway going down and a fourth so what this is going to be is this is going to be a very very interesting four gate now how a four gate normally works is you only throw down one gateway you chrono boost a whole lot of warp gate research out and with all your saved up minerals you throw down three more gateways but what we've seen here from white raw is that he's now placing that forward pylon is that he threw down only two gateways produced some units and now he's going to be moving into his opponent's base applying some early pressure while he places these early pylons and then while he's still waiting for his... <coughs> oh my god. Apologies for that. While he's waiting for this cybernetics... Uh cybernetics warp gate research to finish he's going to be applying pressure in his opponent's base so this is going to be early aggression so his opponent is almost assuming um early aggression from his opponent in the form of a four gate which comes at generally around the six minute and 30 second mark but instead with this build white raw has actually managed to get into his opponent's base very very early before that four uh gate 
would normally come and so now white raw is in the base of his opponent and now he has this four gate up notice still no second gas taken four warp gates are up and now he's free to continue to warp units into his opponent's base and now it all just comes down to the micro white raw trying to do as much damage as he can right now and hose trying to deny as much damage as he can but notice with this build the damage comes so much earlier than with your standard four gate hose is going to have so much trouble holding this off and white raw starting to take that food lead right now continuing to warp in more and more units he can't actually warp in onto the high ground there just because he was a little bit um, he didn't have any units over there to give him vision up onto the high ground and now he's just gonna be focusing down a lot of probes lots of probes following here for hose hose actually 17 workers killed so far being forced to pull those workers off the line and there we go white raw now with a pretty commanding lead lots of units in his opponent's base doing lots and lots of damage so strong even though i know it's coming hose with the gg and white raw takes that very very early win with that very very interesting delayed four gate style so I hope you guys enjoyed all these games of White Raw early aggression today. I felt like that was a very cool look at some of White Raw's early aggressive uh, Protoss builds. So uh, if you guys enjoyed those, please comment, please subscribe, let me know what you guys think about these. I felt like these casts were a little bit more analytical, so if you like these analytical casts, let me know in the comments down below if you'd prefer that I just go for straight up normal commentary where I'm just looking at both players equally. It's really hard to do. It's really hard to, to look at both players very analytically. So normally, if I'm only focusing on being analytical, I have to kind of focus on one player over the other. So let me know what you think about these versus doing uh, just looking at both players kind of e more evenly in the comments down below. Of course, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Glitch out.